My name is K218B, let's learn some facts surrounding me. I could have life thriving freely, let's take a closer look and see. Kepler's K2 mission discovered me in 2015. It saw dips in the brightness of a red dwarf star called K218. K2 campaign observed a patch of sky in the constellation Leo, using the transit method to discover me flying so free yo. Every 33 days of light from the star would dim slightly. This indicated something was passing in front of the star, it was me. My name is K218B, let's learn some facts surrounding me. I could have life thriving freely, let's take a closer look and see. Follow up observations by Spencer Space Telescope. Confirm the transit and measurements of the planet's orbit and size, you know. Hubble was used to study the planet's atmosphere so clear it detected water vapor in my planetary atmosphere. That made me the first habitable zone planet with such a detection. The James Webb brought it to the next level without objection. Webb saw the presence of methane and carbon dioxide and potential by your signature gas, demethyl sulfide. My name is K218B, let's learn some facts surrounding me. I could have life thriving freely, let's take a closer look and see. So why am I so special? You ask with a confused frown, let's take a look at why, as I go and break it down. One, first habitable zone exoplanet with water vapor. Two, carbon based molecules and maybe bio signatures. Three, a new Potentially habitable world I see in planets For it challenges the Earth-centric view of life, I admit Number 5, a test case for the James Webb Space Telescope When all these things are put together It gives life on other planets hope My name is K218B, let's learn some facts surrounding me I could have life thriving freely, let's take a closer look and see